And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the polar jet with the cold is here. You can trace it. See these clouds and these snow showers right here? Kind of takes a dip here. That's why it's colder in our area. Subtropical jet carries the moisture and the warmth is way down here. So they're separate. So that means this week, no big significant storm system is ahead. We're going to have to wait until Friday night and Saturday to get into that. So any precipitation, pretty spotty, pretty light at times this week. But then it is widespread rain to all snow. Friday night and Saturday with a lot of wind, too, and then very cold, brutal cold for early March. You know, some of these temperatures, if you take the, the not only our region, but the entire lower 48, some of the coldest in early March since either 1978 or 1960, kind of a toss up there. But all that said, 25 at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow after a low of 17, a little patchy flurry and light snow action in the far north. Shouldn't be a big deal. Then it's just mostly cloudy. Winds out of the east, a high of 34. Now on Wednesday, a few uh, little areas are a little spotty, light freezing rain sleet and rain showers around. During the morning, tips climbing into the mid-30s, and then a couple flurries in the north late in the day. And after a high of 40, cold front goes through, then it gets breezy and temperatures drop. So again, early uh, tomorrow morning in the north, a couple flurries, a couple patches of light snow, and then kind of a mix of clouds and some sun, more clouds than sun for much of the day. Now, getting into Wednesday and also Thursday, again, any precipitation will be light and spotty. This is looking at Thursday. It's very light, it's very spotty around. A little sleet, a little very light freezing rain, a few raindrops, a couple flakes. That is it. But Friday's system, more substantial, begins as rain, changes to snow with strong winds as well, and then the Arctic air comes in. And notice the winds uh, on Saturday, they may gust up around 40, 45 miles an hour at times. So some howling winds, and if we can lay down some snow cover, it's going to blow and drift around. And then the bitter cold comes in. Temperatures, up to 30 degrees below normal, and wind chills by next Sunday morning and Monday morning may run 20 to 30 below zero just in time to start March. And the cold lingers on right into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Not this week, but next week. Notice wind chills still running below zero. As the floodgate is open for cold, this will keep going south, or this is going to plunge deep into the south, and this is going to go well into March. We're really going to have to wait until after St. Patrick's Day to really see good sustained warmth set in. And I think we're going to flip a switch into spring just all of a sudden. It'll be cold one day and it's 72 the next. It's going to be one of those situations. 70 forecast, normal highs in the 40s, but ugh, like 30 degrees below normal Sunday and into Monday after what could be some accumulating snow Friday night and into early Saturday. I'm looking for that switch. <laughs> Let's yeah. <laughs> well, I've got on the blog right now, it's literally like three to four days where it just, boom, it's here and it stays for a while. Well, that'll be nice. Okay, thanks, yeah. Chad. Mm -hmm. Let's talk some football.